Hey guys, thanks for tuning into my channel. Today I've created a very classy look with a bold red lip. I've targeted on minimal eye makeup so that the lips would pop very well. If you're interested to know how to achieve this look then continue watching. So alright guys for today's look I'm going to do my base first and then my eyes. For getting a good base you have to have clean skin. For that I'm using the Garnier Micellar Water on tissue paper and cleaning my face. I've already cleansed my face and this is the second time I'm cleaning. Before moving on to the base I'm going to fix my brows using this Miss Claire eyebrow pencil to fill in my brows and then wet n wild concealer to clean up my brows. I'm setting my eyebrows with the pressed powder from Wet n Wild. Now moving on to my base, I'm moisturizing well with the Nivea Light Cream. For priming my face, I'm using the usual Faces Canada primer and putting it on my T-zone because that's the area I sweat the most and my foundation tends to break apart. So to keep my makeup intact I always prefer a primer For this look I need a perfect base so I need to correct all the discolorations dark circles and all the unnecessary things from my face For that I'm using the color corrector The one that I'm using is from Miss Claire and this is a peach corrector it cancels out all the dark circles on my face I'm using the already used concealer brush to apply the corrector under my eyes and around my mouth. I'm blending and pushing the concealer onto my skin using my ring finger. You can see that the corrector has cancelled out my uneven skin tone. To cover up the peachiness, I'm covering the corrector using my Wet n Wild concealer and again blending it out using my ring finger. With whatever is left on my finger, I'm taking it on my eyelids as well to prep my eyelids for eye shadow. Now using the pressed powder again and slightly dusting the concealed areas so that they won't crease. For foundation, today I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me in Warm Honey and applying all over my face and neck using my beauty blender to blend out the foundation. Now again to lock up my foundation I'm dusting the whole face with powder. Cream products always needs to be set with powder product to avoid creasing. So don't forget to set your products if you have an oily skin. To get back life to my face, I'm using the sugar bronzer in shade 01 and slightly contouring my face. I don't need anything heavy on my face today as my main focus is my lips. Thank you. 
To contour my nose, I am using this eyeshadow brush to get a precise contour. For highlighting of course, I am using this Savannah Shimmer Bricks and highlighting wherever necessary. It's okay to go a little overboard with highlighter because the whole face is natural. I look like a big shiny disco ball for the moment but don't worry guys, we will get it together in the end. To lock and set everything in place, I am using the makeup fixing spray. Now our base is all done and I am pretty happy, it looks quite natural right? For the eyeshadow, I am taking this sugar mini bronzer and slightly applying on my crease and outer corner with a blending brush. For the lit space, I am taking this Maybelline Nudes palette and using this shimmery bronze shade. This color won't show up as much as in cam but in real life it gives a nice glow to the eyelids. It's not too heavy but you can still see that something is going on on the eyelids. To draw the classic wing, I am using the Maybelline Colossal Eyeliner. This one is one of my favorite eyeliners and is a bold black color. If you need to see reviews on the eyeliners and kajals on affordable site, then I'll link my video in the cards. Go check that out guys. To coat my upper and lower lashes, I am using the Maybelline Volume Express Mascara and coating well. I am not applying falsies for this look so I will be coating my lashes very well to get that falsy effect. For my lower waterline, I am using the Faces Magnetized Kajal and applying a good layer of Kajal. And now for the star of the show, my lipstick. I am using the Iba Halal Moisturizing Lipstick in the shade Pure Red for today's look. This red is a wonderful orangish red for my skin tone. I am a MAC NC42 for your reference guys. I love this shade but I don't wear it often except for weddings and stuff. I am going to use this liner brush to outline my lips and fill in a bit. Then I'll be directly going in with my lipstick. Doing the outlining part helps you get a grip and control on your lipstick so that you won't go outside the line. I'm not overlining or underlining my lips. I'm just going to I'm just going to project my natural lip size. According to me, overlining using a bright bold color such as red will be too much on the face. So this is how the lipstick looks. It is so 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 gorgeous right but it is too glossy for me and hence I am blotting slightly using a tissue paper. To clean the edges of my lips and to really pop up the red lipstick I am cleaning the edges with a concealer. Don't forget to set the concealer with powder guys or else it will crease around your mouth and it will look cracky and cakey. To highlight the inner corner and brow bone, I am using this golden shade from the Nudes palette. So 
so this completes the look guys i actually set my face again with the setting spray but the footage got deleted i use the usual la color setting spray this look is very easy and wearable i'm sure you guys would have loved this look overall you can create this look under 10 minutes if you have all the products near you now let's get into today's comment shout out and the shout out goes to two after i do wow such a sweet comment babe thank you so much for your comment to get featured in my next shout out all you have to do is pause this video hit the red subscribe button and make it gray and also enable that small bell icon and set the option to all and comment down on my video that's literally all you have to do guys to get featured in my next shout out also, don't forget to like and share my video with others as well. I'll meet you guys in a brand new video. I love you all so much and please stay safe and be indoors because that's the least we can do. Alright guys, bye bye.